<laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I think the title of this video will be Most Christians Make Me Sick. <laughs> what a title. What a concept. It's sad that I even have to make such a declaration. But I want to explain why I feel this way. The, the world's viewpoint towards Christians, uh, the, the world as a whole and the secular world, sees Christians in a stereotypical way. They would describe a Christian as someone who is narrow-minded, intolerant, judgmental, divisive, and bigoted. I'm sorry to say this, but I have to agree with that stereotype. The vast majority of Christians do meet this description. They are narrow-minded in that uh, they can't even have conversations uh, without uh, arguing among themselves. They're intolerant that any other opinion rather than the opinions that they hold will cause knee-jerk reactions and uh, anger and name-calling, judgmental in that they're always trying to judge whether someone else is truly a Christian uh, or judge whether their viewpoint is true or heretical, divisive, always breaking up into other groups. 30,000 denominations of Christians all over the world is proof of the divisiveness in Christianity and bigoted. Uh, hating those people who do not conform to every one of their ideologies. It's a good thing that Christians have Jesus Christ as their Savior because we certainly need Him. Because we certainly have all these character flaws. Narrow-minded, intolerant, judgmental, divisive, bigoted, even hateful. So, uh, in my life I've been able to find a handful of Christians who have broken out of this mold. And uh, they they are willing to listen to different Christians' opinions on doctrines. They tolerate other opinions. Uh, they don't judge and point the finger and uh, immediately get angry and call names. They want unity rather than dividing. But uh, sadly, that kind of Christian is certainly very rare. <laughs> uh, if you agree that Jesus Christ is God Almighty, if you agree that salvation and eternal life is a free gift that Jesus offers everyone, and we can receive the gift of eternal life simply by putting complete faith and dependence on Jesus as our Savior. If you believe that once we've received this gift of eternal life, that we can never lose eternal life for any reason, if, if you agree on these basic core beliefs, and if you are willing to discuss all the other theological questions and allow for different opinions and learn 
from each other without pointing the finger and judging and getting angry and calling names. If that's the kind of Christian that you are, <laughs> then you're someone I would like to get to know and have fellowship with. But if you don't hold to these basic core beliefs and if you are intolerant of other opinions on all these other theological questions, then you certainly meet this stereotype the world has for Christians. Okay. Sad to say that most Christians make me sick, but now you know why. Bless you all in the name of our great Savior God. His name is Jesus Christ.